Hey everyone, today we're diving into one of the most famous and fascinating concepts in mathematics, the Pythagorean theorem. It's not just about solving for sides of a triangle, it's a gateway to understanding the world around us. But did you know this theorem has been around for over 2,500 years? It's named after the ancient Greek mathematician Pythagoras, but evidence suggests that the Babylonians and Indians knew about this relationship long before Pythagoras. One of the oldest known proofs of the theorem comes from an ancient Indian text called the Baudhayana Sulba Sutra, dating back to around 800 BCE. Did you know ancient Egyptians used the Pythagorean theorem to construct the pyramids? They didn't have our modern tools, but they had mathematics. They used ropes with knots at regular intervals to create right angles, ensuring precise construction. The Pythagorean theorem isn't just for triangles, it's everywhere. It's used in computer graphics, navigation, and even in music theory. Here's something interesting. The theorem also relates to areas. If we construct squares on each side of our right-angled triangle, the area of the square on the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the areas of the other two squares. Fascinating, right? Think of flying a kite. The height of the kite above the ground, the length of the string, and the horizontal distance form a right-angled triangle. Knowing any two sides, we can find the third using the Pythagorean theorem. It's practical and fun. So, the next time you see a right-angled triangle, remember there's a powerful theorem at play. It's more than just a formula. It's a connection to ancient history, a tool for modern technology, and a fundamental part of our world. Thanks for watching! Stay curious and keep exploring the wonders of mathematics. See you next time.